Welcome grade 6. Today we will study unit 4. Unit 4 talk about absorption and the transmission of water and mineral salts in plants. Absorption and the transmission of water and mineral salts in plants. Let's make a measuring green plant is bend on raw materials in their environment to form its food. These raw materials are carbon dioxide gas from air, carbon dioxide gas from air, water and mineral salts from the soil, and sunlight. All these materials plants make its own food by photosynthesis process. So, plants use raw materials in the environment, which are carbon dioxide, water and mineral salts, sunlight, to make its own food. In addition of these elements, plants need very little amount of other elements, such as phosphorus, magnesium, calcium, nitrogen, zinc, and other elements. These elements also are essential for plant life. مهمة لحياة النبات. The absorption of water and mineral salts from the soil occurs through root hairs in the root. Root absorb water and mineral salts. Root hairs extend from root. Let's see plant parts. Plant consists of two main parts: shoot system, stem and leaves, root system under the soil. What is the importance of root system for plant? Root system in the plant is subdivided and extended through the soil particles too. Number one, fixing the plant in the soil. Fix plant in the soil. Root, fix plant in the soil. Number two, covering a large area of the soil. Covering large area in the soil. Why? To search for water and mineral salts to absorb and rise them to another part which are shoot system. So, the importance of root system, two importance, fix the plant in the soil, covering large area to absorb water and salts. What is the structure of plant root? Root is composed of a number of layers which are at the first, root hairs. Root hairs extend from first layer which is epidermis. Root hair extend from epidermis. Second layer, epidermis. Epidermis layer, it is the external layer or the first layer which root hair extend. Root hair, epidermis layer. Next layer is cortex layer. Cortex layer. Cortex layer follows epidermis and it consists of many rows. This layer is cortex. And the last row in cortex, sorry, last row in cortex is different. It called endodermis. Next layer, xylem, vessel or wood layer. It follow cortex or endodermis layer. And the last layer, pith layer, that follow xylem layer. Again, the structure of root, if I make a section in root and examine under microscope, I will see root hair, 
epidermis, cortex, last row of cortex is endodermis, then xylem, and last path. Now let's see the structure of root hair. Root hair extends from epidermis layer or extend from root. They lined from inside with a thin layer of cytoplasm. Lined from inside with a thin layer of cytoplasm. And they have a big vacuole. Root hair has a big vacuole. Again, the structure of root hair lined with thin layer of cytoplasm and has a big vacuole. The age of root capillary doesn't exceed a few days. Age of root hair doesn't exceed a few days. Why? Because the skin cells slough from time to time by resist of soil particles during expansion of the root. Root hair is very thin, so it slough. It damage from time to time due to resistance with soil particles. This root hairs are replaced always from epidermis layer. Thank you, grade six.